Now there you go, that's after Storm Arwen last week. That's someone's garage. I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and welcome to my channel. Well today we've been out for a ride, me and Mike, and the plan was to set off and go to Haworth. But we've had a puncture. Mike's had three punctures now, I think in five rides, and he's on new tyres. We got to Haworth, but then the road was closed because there's some special Christmas event going on. So we never had a cafe stop. So in the end, it was a nice little ride, which for me was a 55 mile loop. And that's not bad for December. It's been pretty cold. And the weather's set to take a turn for the worse next week. So anyway, here's the video, and I hope you like it. And thank you for watching. Well, it's Sunday the 5th of December 2021. Yesterday was a write off, the weather was shocking. So I didn't go out. I had a rest day, for the first rest day in about 23 days. And so I'm waiting here for Mike, and the plan is to head out towards Haworth. Hopefully, the weather will stay good. We've got blue skies with lots of grey patches all around. Hey up! Hey up! It's by wonder! We won't go that far, Dad. New tyres, Dad. You got new tyres? Yeah, hey, look at them. They are nice. Smooth like butter, them. I like them. Wow. Oh, smooth. Have they? Smooth like butter, them. Yeah. Smooth like Lurpak. Lurpak. Can't, you can't believe it. It's not Bellaflex. So, Mike, what's the plan? And, most importantly, do they do black puddings? That's the <laughs> question, isn't it? Big question. I don't want to be going all the way over there with no black pudding. No. I mean, what's, what can you do if you don't have black puddings? Well, Victoria sponge, isn't it? That is, yeah, you're right. He likes Victoria sponge, yeah, that's the truth. Well. Yeah. We've got to keep it going, that machine, haven't we? Well, we've got to keep it going. I don't know about the machine bit. Right, well, let's go. And so we made our way up Whitworth Road to bake up on the A671 to a place called Deer Play. Oh, it's windy. We're at the top of Deer Play now. We're around 1,400 feet above sea level with a block headwind. It's really hard work, tough going. Mike's ahead. So normally this could be a really fast descent, but I can see today 35 mile an hour being pretty good. Righty-o. Feel that wind now. This is 20 miles an hour, it's really slow. You know we're doing about 40 miles an hour here. We've got nice views though. 25 miles an hour. And so on this section here, we had a blockhead wind. It was really frustrating to go down here so slowly. So let's move further on down the road. So here we are on this descent, going towards the Burnley side. Mike comes through. And on this section, we had to keep doing rotations. Now, I have got some excellent footage from a few weeks ago that I've got to edit. And I'll be showing you this descent where we were absolutely flying down here. But today, we struggled to get over 30 miles per hour. In fact, we maxed out at about 34.9 miles per hour looking back at the data. But there comes Mike again on another rotation and we continued this throughout the descent. And because of this headwind, the average speed was really low today. It was around 12 miles per hour, up to this point here. But that's to be expected riding this time of year. So let's have a look at the route we're going to do today. And that's where we're based in the United Kingdom. And looking at the route profile, it was going to be a hilly one. But let's have a look at the ride in more detail now. So the plan was to head towards Burnley, then make our way towards Nelson and Colne, and then over a really undulating section towards Wycollar, where we would then be on the outskirts of Haworth. Looking at the weather, it was going to be cold but dry, with a very strong wind from the north. The ride distance today was 55.51 miles, with an elevation gain of 4,290 feet. The ride time will be 3 hours and 49 minutes, and the maximum speed will be 39.5 miles per hour, which wasn't too bad given the conditions, and that was on the descent into Hebden Bridge. 
But let's get back to the ride, where we covered 29 miles and were cycling on Lancashire Moor Road, which is near Wycolla. And looking at the landscape around here, you can see why Emily Bronte was inspired to write the stories that she did. Well, we've got snow on the high ground, white collars behind us. We're going that way towards Oakworth and Howarth. Yeah. What are you feeling, Mike, now? What are you thinking? Um, I think you now join the peloton on top of white collar mountain. How high up are we? Roughly. Roughly, about 1,200 feet, 1,100. Yeah, that's right. And this, this was manufactured in the late 1762. What was manufactured? This we manufactured oh. it. You know, like the Truman Show. I thought it was created like by oh, God. No, this is like the Truman Show. Is it? Yeah, that's what we're on now. We're on the Truman Show. I think you are, Mike. Oh yeah, could be. Yeah. I'm making medication of us. No, and I I've, I can't say any more because it might give it away for you. Oh, I didn't check it this morning. Yeah. We better do a cut there. Yeah, we better cut that. Yeah, this edit, is edit that out. This is real though, Mike. Yeah, that, that lake's real, it's, it's, everything's real. Yeah. So, just to give you a bit of a rundown, we've done more or less 30 miles to get here. We came through Burnley, after the climb of Deer Play, came through Burnley, Nelson, Colne, and then we've got Lynch and Bridge behind us as well. Nice tailwind now, cross tailwind for the rest of this uh, section. Can't speak, let's keep going, Mike. Was you doing silly things again behind me back? So here we are now, quite a wet, scar top road, near Pond and Reservoir. And Mike was just talking about how good his tyres were. Right, well, me and Mike were just having a chat. We're at Stanbury, and Mike was saying he's really liking these new Veloflex tyres just down there. And then the next thing he said was, I've got a flat. That going to be shite, so don't get these. You were just saying. <laughs> Unbelievable, should I get big mouth shut? Yeah, and you were just thinking about black puddings, weren't you? Yeah. He had the scent of black puddings wafting from ours. Yeah. And he thought, right, my tyres are good, I'm happy. And it's shite. Remember them thick, solid rubber ones? Are we still on? You still on? Yeah, with bulky spokies. <laughs> That's what you want. So, in here, we've got spare lights, a bike lock, a couple of spare tubes, all kinds of bits and bobs, but Mike needs the pump. Pump. We've oh, got some paracetamol and a gel bar. And a couple of quid. Oh, so anyway, we've got the puncture fixed. And we're only about a mile or so away from Howarth. But we'd lost so much time fixing the puncture, we couldn't go for a cafe stop. And that was really disappointing. And the road was closed ahead, and we got stopped so we couldn't ride our bikes down the main cobbled street. Yeah. Well, we got turned back going down the cobbled road because there's lots of events on. They have like Christmas markets and it's all themed this time of year. Um, but to be honest, we haven't really got time for a cafe stop because that puncture took a bit longer than we expected and it's going to go dark soon. So we're going to have to get a move on really. Get over Cock Hill, get into Howarth, Tumberdon down the valley. When you're in Howarth, than 20%. You get, yeah, you get some super steep climbs like this one. Very steep. Good job of carrying them, so we're on 30 odd miles already. I'm a bit hungry to be honest. Time for a butty, but we haven't got time for that, so that'll get me home. I've got a bit of water, so I'm all right. Whenever you finish with these, though, always put them in your pocket and take them home with you. And if you're wondering where we are, this is the big airpin bend on the 6003. Tebden Bridge is that way. Nice big climb now. We know this road really well. Then we get a wicked descent. And so here's the descent into Hebden Bridge. And funnily enough, this featured on my last video. But on this day we had damp conditions, had to be really careful and the key here was to pick nice lines, nothing radical, just take your time whilst trying to maintain a good pace. And we still managed to cruise down here, 
at over 38 miles per hour, but whilst I stopped for that brake, Mike had already gone over the top. Captain Briggs. Well, we're about 44 miles into the ride. So on the other side of the hill near Haworth, I said to Mike, just crack on. I'm having a nature break. And it took me the whole of the climb and the descent to meet up with them at Hebden Bridge. So Mike's got stuck in people traffic at Hebden Bridge, I think. <laughs> so I'll wait for him. But he's got to get his skates on because there's no lights and there's no more spare tubes. I've got spare lights for me today, but here he is. This time of year, you need all your equipment. So yeah, we've got a talking point, haven't we, Mike? Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me what happened. Cockhill. Sorry? Oh, Top yeah. of Cockhill. Yeah, we uh, we were riding down, weren't we? You stopped for a nature break. I did, yeah. And I carried on. And I come down and I heard somebody shouting me. And I didn't know who it was. That cyclist? Yeah. Yeah, so he it's... saw me later on. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he said, hey up, hey up, black pudding man. <laughs> so no, yeah. I don't know what he said to be honest, but he shouted. Yeah, he did, he shouted to me. So, whoever you are, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, whoever you are, thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> oh, get out of here, you Make a donation. We're not having any donations. <laughs>